Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be fixing a few um, MOT failures on my girlfriend Chelsea's car. Um, obviously at the time of watching this, I posted it just after Christmas, so I hope you had a good time um, and spent it with family where possible. Um, but yeah, let's get cracking. We've got a few little bits to do. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have already known what's up. So we've got a driver side rear shock and caliper to do. Um, and we've also got to swap in the indicator bulbs on the front and she also needs new headlights so we've got to try and track down a set of them um, or I've got a spare set so I might sort of donate her mine and then put my spare set on my mini so without further ado let's get cracking now I did get a uh, a few new car bits for Christmas so I had uh, Maguire's wash bucket and grit guard which you would have seen in the Christmas gift video everything's out because I'm sort of tidying everything up um, but I got a new um, box um, it's quite nice, it's huge and I can fit all my tools in it um, and I also got a big T-shaped light which is good for working on cars late at night and I also got a gazebo to cover me in the car now if you are interested in sort of seeing a full in-depth video of um, the toolbox it's not completely you know sort of stacked top to bottom yet because uh, I don't own that many tools but I have put things in so I will be shadow boarding it at some point so if that's something you'd like to see then let me know but plenty of cable ties so we can fix most things um, you know ratchets and uh, sockets and whatever else so yeah so if you're interested in um, sort of like a little guide to and how to uh, to shadow board then let me know I'll put something together when I do it um, but for now let's get cracking so I'm going to take the two easier jobs off first so I've got to replace both front indicator bulbs um, so to do that I've got this connector here twist it and pull it out just like so and as you can see there is an orange coating on this ball um, well there should be and there's not much on it. So as you can see, now I've got the bulb out, there's not much orange coating left in this bulb, so that's why it's the wrong colour and it's failed. So I'm going to whack one of them back in, um, it's pretty much the exact same process. So line the pins up and just twist it back in place and then it goes back down. Just twist it to the right. And as you can see, the camera's not picking up too well, but they're a lot more orange, which is perfect. That's what we want. So, uh, yeah, that's all good. They were like a, a normal headlight white flashing before. So, uh, yeah, that's two things ticked off already. Let's get the driver's side rear jacked up. So it's just about to take the wheels off. And the little Asbo machine has arrived. It's dirty like, needs to clean. So I will show you what's actually up in the rear. So as you can see, the shock here is just covered in oil. Um, so in the last MOT, the one before it failed, there was an advisory that there was a light mist in, and this one it failed because there was just too much oil basically. Fair enough. And then also uh, the caliper was sticking or something like that, and they basically just advised just to change the caliper out. So first things first, I'm gonna lube up the two bolts up here and the one down there. Uh, with WD-40 and we'll get the brake caliper off while those are soaking in. So I've lubed up these top two bolts and this bottom bolt here and I've been um, cleaning up the head of it with a wire brush. Now this bolt here is a 21mm bolt and pretty much they get really rusty so if you're following along at home there's a plastic cover that sits on here um, and pretty much um, 
you take the plastic cover off and the bolt is exposed. Now, they're very rusty and I have cleaned this up as best I can. I think I need to do a bit more because there's about a millimetre of rust on it. So I can't actually get a 21mm on it. So I'm going to clean it up and get back to you. So I've managed to get the 21mm socket onto there. So we're going to get a breaker bar on it and start loosening her off. So as you can see, I've got it moving, which is a good sign. So I'm going to crack on this. It's probably going to take me a while because it's still really tight. And my impact gun's just died. So I'm going to go and plug that in now, just so that when it's a bit looser, I can whiz it straight off. But this is knackering. One eternity later. So this is the bottom strut bolt um, out now. Um, it, this is genuinely taking me like half an hour to get out. Um, it's literally a job for the breaker bar. You just got to pull it around a little bit, and then I was having to take the um, the socket off the end of the breaker bar, swapping it around a little bit so I could get a good fit on it. But anyway, um, it's out now, and the the head is still intact, which is nice. So we're going to go ahead and take the two top bolts out of the strut and drop the rest of it out. So these top man bolts are thirteens. So I'm just taking these out. Got the right hand one out. Just got to get this left hand one out. So I'm just going to undo these. Gonna have a hand ready to catch this because it will drop. Um, as you can see, it's it's loose now. Just gonna get a hand ready to catch it when it drops. Now there is these two cables on the back of the strut, which I've just lubed up so I can pop them out now. Allude. Winning. So, like when we took the um, top hats off the struts for the Fiesta, um, we've got to take them off for this as well. So this is just a look at what they, how they sort of sit in the car at the minute. So obviously that's where that big ass bolt was. Uh, on the back you've got the two spaces for the lines. So uh, obviously when it goes back in, we need to keep the orientation. Now the hat is slightly sort of off to the side. So um, there's a 16mm nut on the top, it's going to whiz that off, keep everything in the order and transplant it over to the new shock. And here's the, uh, the new strut, so it comes with a new bolt for the top which is nice. I'll leave a link to this in the description if you need it. I think it costs 22 quid, which is not too bad. So thread this nut off. Then you want to grab your spring off your old strut. This one seems to be quite stuck um, from, funnily enough, all the fluid that's supposed to be inside it. And there is a, like a little sort of rubber piece down here. So we're going to take that with it. The other one doesn't have one. I don't know whether it's necessary, but we'll put it on. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Now put the spring back on. Make sure you get the orientation right. I'm going to line the spring up with where it sat before. So you can see there's a, an indentation in the rubber bit at the bottom. We're going to line the spring up with that. Now to put this section on, as you can see, there's an indent as well. So we're going to line that up, and that's that. Now we're going to put the top mount on. So as you can see, we're probably going to need to compress this a little bit. I can't actually get to where I need to put the bolt on. So I'm just going to try and push it down, and if I can't, then I'll get the spring compressors on it. So I've got the new um, strut with the spring and all the other bits on. Um, it's a two-hander job, all your spring compressors. Um, but yeah, can't be asked for swinging compressors. So two-man job it is. So I'm just going to tighten this nut up now and get her back on the car. 
Right then, so what we're going to do is get the strut back in. <clears throat> so to do that we're going to lay it in from this side and reconnect the handbrake line and I think this is the wheel speed sensor. Okay, and then we're going to push down on the strut and bring it underneath here and back up into its resting space. Get the bolt, thread it in through the hole. Gonna get both in place. And now both bolts are in one or two threads. I'm gonna tighten them up with a 13 mil ratchet. So I've got the two top 13 mil bolts in, so it's time to put this uh, the big bolt in from the uh, the bottom. <coughs> so obviously it's the opposite of how you took it out, so you put it in from the back. Um, and we're just gonna uh, tighten that up. All right, so everything's sorted. Uh, these two bolts are in tight. This bottom bolt's in tight. I put the plastic cover back on. Everything feels solid. Okay, so we've hit a bit of a stumbling block with um, the car. Um, for some reason, the handbrake cable is absolutely seized into the caliper. Um, I've actually tried to cut it out of the caliper, but I'm scared I'm gonna cut into the cable and make things worse. So, I'm ordering a new handbrake cable um, we've obviously already got the new caliper, so I'm going to go inside now and order the handbrake cable. But that does mean that to get this video out in time, I'm going to have to do this in two parts. I didn't really want to do it, but it is what it is at the end of the day. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you have an absolutely brilliant new year. I'll see you in the new year with the second episode on this car, and we'll get it sorted and MOT'd. Make sure you drop a like and a comment. Hit subscribe if you want to, and take care.